How's it going everyone? Welcome back to some for uh, Welcome back to another episode of Project Brap. Welcome back to another episode of Project Brap. Today we are installing a little duct tail. Just a nice uh, a cheap little small good looking duct tail. Nothing big, no big wang gang for this Miata. Sorry. Now this is sort of a temporary install. I'm going to put the spoiler on with 3M double sided tape. Once I decide I like it, I will go ahead and rivet it on, but that's a later story. So we're putting it on with tape as of now. I already put the tape onto the spoiler. How many worlds would you cross to use the light that's right in front of you? There is no light on the other side, I say. Look straight ahead. But yeah, we are ready to clean the trunk lid and uh, just pop it on. And I mean, we're already done, so it's not a hard install. You will see. How many would you cross Boom. All right. Wasn't quite on right. Oh fuck, that's not straight. That is not. No. Oh, I know it's plenty strong. Jesus. Well, third time's a charm, that's all I can say. It is indeed on there. I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. Oh yeah, that was good. It's right in the middle, it's fitting well, and it's, I mean, it's, it's sturdy, guys. It's definitely sturdy. Cool. Well, that's it. <laughs> Easy as that. All right, guys, so I want you to tell me whether you think it looks better like this, just black, uh, I think if I leave it black, I'll actually paint it, because it's, I mean, it's not the best right now. But we can either leave it black, or we can color match it to the, uh, the Mariner Blue. I personally think black is looking better. I think blue would just be a little weird, but, uh, I don't know. Tell me your opinion. Uh, that's why I'm not riveting it in yet, because I want to make sure I like this black. Ooh. Stretch bike. So yeah, I think we should do a little cinem cinematics. Well guys, here she is, quick walk around. She's looking so good. Lights are on, nice and sunny. It's really freaking sunny. But uh, yeah, she looks freaking awesome. It, yeah, spoiler really did help. Uh, I'm not really supposed to be here, so I'm just gonna hop in and bounce on out of here.
All right, guys, so that is it for today. I know it was really short, but I mean, taping a piece of plastic to my car, is, it's not very hard. I will have an update video once I rivet the uh, spoiler in. I think it looks really great. Such a, it, 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 it's crazy how such a simple thing changes the car so much. I don't know, the back was just, it was too like rounded and the front you know, is kind of pointy, so the back had to be point. I don't know, it evens the car out, looks great. I think it's great. Get hyped, guys, because I'm buying the Turbo Kit in two weeks, 14 days. Uh, two weeks until Project Brap becomes Project Brap Stew Stew. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I have to say, I really like this camera. I think it looks really great. It sounds really great. And I really like the autofocus and how like the, the back is blurred out really well. And I don't know, it just it looks really nice. It's awesome. All right, so since this video is so short, we're gonna do a little bit of a story time. So here in my garage, we have just this this wreckage behind my like behind my my back. So pretty much this big thing, all of this, that, all of that over there, was hung up in one of those, but it was right over here. So the garage door was closed. There used to be two of these right here. My car was right here and the one on this side collapsed. So just imagine that falling down, going everywhere. My car was in this exact same spot, and this was right here. It fell down, stuff went everywhere. Somehow, somehow, the car remained unscathed, all right? Literally, this thing was like leaning against the car right here. No dents, it's all good. Uh, that was already there, I think, I'm not positive. There was only one very small scratch on my brand new wheels, which, right there. See that? That's the only thing that got damaged, which it, it does suck. It's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely a scratch, but considering this could have fallen on top of my car, dented it, and something, like, something bad could have really happened. When I walked through that door and I saw the carnage, like, laying on my car, I was like, no, this is the end. I was I was so worried, but somehow the car remained mostly unscathed. So cool. The Miata is okay, and it looks good. I think it looks a little weird with the black on top and the, on the bottom. I think I might take off the rear lip. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe do a bumper cutout. I think those are really cool. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that. But looks good. I was also wondering what you guys think of opening a P.O. box. Would you send me anything? I don't want to open a P.O. box if no one's going to send me anything. But I think that'd be cool. Uh, on shorter videos like this, I can open some mail at the end, do stuff like that. You guys can send me parts of the Miata or the Subaru. I can put them on. I think that'd be cool. So let me know what you think of getting a P.O. box. And if you'd send me something, put it down in this, the, 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 the comment section. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. And peace out.